Welcome to Reggie's Corner. So, um, we are back with part two of our Let's Play of Towards the Pantheon Escaping Eternity. And we will pick up right where we left off at the end of the first part, which was in a room where we needed cranks to enter different portals, so to speak. So if you want to see how this all ends up and see some questions answered, all you have to do is stick around because now we continue and wrap this up. So we are back with part two. Uh, small recap, we got stranded in a weird area with a lot of doors that are scrambled when we find them and we need to find cranks in order to progress through them uh, as the one we just went through. Other than that, we are still very much trying to collect uh, different stones to fill in a weird tombstone. I can smell rotten flesh from the other side of these bars. Okay. A lot of that going on. Oh, what's this? Will you pick up the bow? Yes. You'll have my bow. Sorry. A tombstone. It doesn't seem like there's a grave or coffin under the ground, though. So just for laughs and giggles? Yeah. Yeah, it's not often you just have some token uh, tombstones for no reason. And here's one more. We can open up with this hexagonal crank. And we usually have to do that three times because games. Oh, wow. Oh, here's uh, one of the stones we're looking for. It looks like there is something beneath the glass in this display case. Why doesn't you just break them? Anyway, game logics. Oh, here are three tombstones where we can uh, put things. There's a hole in this tombstone. It looks like something could be placed here. Yeah. Yes, there, there's definitely three things that we need to place in here. We have one of them. So that's one. And I guess when we have all three, that glass will break. Just as uh, the one holding a key in the first part of this Let's Play did. And here's the tombstone I mentioned a little bit earlier. And we have one of the stones, the Jewel of Abandonment, which we will put in there. I need more. More levers. Oh, there it is. Will you pick up the pentagonal crank? Yes, that's the one I missed. I was so happy that I had found them. Um, and that's the red ones. I was so happy that I had found um, the arrow, so I didn't realize I missed something. And this also needs three turns of the crank. Oh wow, pages from some kind of training manual are on the ground. I can make out part of the text. Other tactics are to be used to defeat the enemies of our sworn creed. Destruction of any and all standards and sources of pride can demoralize the enemy and render him hopeless. When hopelessness takes control of the minds of our enemies, victory is certain regardless of all other factors. Uh, that makes sense, that makes sense. And there's a button up there. Oh, we need to push that in order to, for this bookcase to uh, go away, I think. Yeah, because that's all that there is in this room. So, yes. And I think that we can now go up here and take the next jewel, the jewel of trust, yes. Um, yeah, we should probably, we cannot go in there yet. Is there a red door down here? No, that was a gray one. Down here then? Yeah, that's the one. 
And I'll just assume that we need three turns because it's been like that all the time so far. Oh, a bathtub. And there we have the shield for the other tombstone. It looks like it has been recently used. There's a faint smell of perfume in the room. What's a bathtub doing here? Good question. Will you pick up the shield? Yes, I will. Notes about human and animal circulatory systems are written on the chalkboard. Okay, someone's been doing some weird experiments. The door is locked. It looks like a llama has been. That's the second door with the llama. We never found that key. And we can't go back to that area as far as I can tell. So maybe it was... Either we missed something or it's just a spoof and we can't get into those just yet. We'll see. What? Is this like a weird theater thing? It's definitely room for a crowd. These bars seem pretty old and rusty. Just like doors behind. That looks like a modern monitor and there's a hooded fellow. Some kind of monitor, it appears to be malfunctioning. Yeah, but we can still see a creepy dude. A creepy dude. This person seem pretty old and rusty, yeah. Yeah. And here we got... Will you pick up the axe? Yes. And my axe! Yes. No, I'm sorry. Gimli won't be uh, in this game much more. And we couldn't chop off... Chop up the... Uh, barrels with axe, weirdly enough. They're made of wood. But axe proof wood, I guess. Anyway, enough of that. We have some gems. Well, one, to be precise. And uh, up here, we now have the rest of the items because we have uh, my axe. Gimli, go away. You've had your moment. So, axe is in there, and the shield. I could hear glass breaking, and that probably means that we can now get... Will you pick up the jewel of hollowness? Yes, I will. And with that, we can... No, more ghosts? That is a cool little thing that the surroundings actually change after we progress in the story. So we now have all three of the, of the gems and we can move on. What is going on? I can't see anything. I can't even feel a floor beneath me. Why am I here? The only thing I know is that I made the wrong choice. I choose cowardice. Well, what? I can't feel anything except for this dull headache. God, I'd give anything for a second chance. I'd give my goddamn soul for just a second chance. Whoa. This is not a good room. Just stating it plainly. There's like one, two, three, four, five, six. Eight plainly dead guys. Some of them freshly killed, and some of them really not. The, there are notes in Latin on the floor. It looks like a triangle made up of candles. In, we saw that triangle in the first video, but we could not interact with it in any way, unfortunately. Or fortunately, probably. The text reads in part, suffering is forever, death is but a moment but someone has scratched out suffering in favor of murder. So, murder is forever. Death is but a moment. Murder is forever. We can't get out, so we have to interact with this hood in a display. Will you pick up the robot mask? What if I take... No! No, I don't want to touch that. Let's, let's get out of here. Oh well, no choice. Yes. We still can't get out. You know, let's just do it. We're we're gonna end up doing it anyway. Robe and mask. A dark black robe and a brown mask made of wood. 
the expression of the mask is neutral. I think that this kind of looks like that creepy dude we saw on the display monitor in the theater looking room. Maybe we'll turn into him if we put this on, which I don't think we would want, but game is pretty much forcing us, so let's let's do that. I know what must be done. It is time. Directed, produced, designed and programmed by Connor O.R.T. Linning. So that was the end of this little prequel game. What a cliffhanger. <laughs> what a cliffhanger. I'm guessing we are now standing outside in the desert? Awaiting to do whatever it is that it was time to do? Towards the Pantheon is dedicated to the memory of Sack. Well, that's nice to uh, to mention a dear departed friend. Towards the Pantheon Escaping Eternity is a prequel to the upcoming full-length RPG Towards the Pantheon. Yeah, this kind of got me a little bit pumped for <laughs> for the real game, so to speak. Kind of want to know what's going to happen. This set it up real nice. Well, that was the end of the game, and as I mentioned, I'm a little bit pumped for what's to come. Some things we did not find, however, we never found the llama key, so whatever was behind those grey doors, we never got to know. And also, one of the cranks for the yellow uh, square thingy, we never found, so something else uh, was in there as well. Maybe we'll get to find out all of those things in the RPG that is coming, or those were there for dots, or we missed something. Who knows? Anyway, I hope that you find viewers out there had as good of a time as I had, and that I will see you again in future videos. Until then, have the greatest of times, and as per usual, gain your little souls away. Bye for now. Thank you for watching the video. If you liked it or want to support the channel, please hit the like or subscribe buttons.